Hypnosis. Everyone knows what it is, but no one knows for sure how it works. For some, it's like a carnival sideshow, a trick performed by a magician in collusion with a planted member of the audience. Others see it as a medical breakthrough, a tool used to treat everything from pain relief to smoking and weight loss. Either way, it's a perfect subject to put to the test. My name's Paul McKenna, and I claim that by using the power of hypnosis, I can eliminate any phobia in the world in 20 minutes. British-born McKenna has been practicing hypnosis and hypnotherapy for more than 10 years. Entirely self-taught, his list of clients includes the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, heavyweight boxing champion Frank Bruno, and supermodel Jerry Hall. His work in the field has produced both a best-selling book and a successful series of self-help tapes. He's also a popular international television personality. And they will all be meeting Paul for the very first time. That's fantastic. Paul begins the first in a series of hypnotic exercises. Hypnosis is a very simple psychological technique that empowers suggestions. So if I put somebody into a hypnotic trance and offer them a suggestion, it's more likely that they will follow that suggestion. So if somebody has a dysfunctional behavior or fear or phobia, something they want to change about themselves, I hypnotize them and offer their mind new behaviors, alternatives, and, if you like, empower them. How can you do it so quickly? We've all been led to believe that phobias are very difficult to get rid of. You know, if you go and see your average psychiatrist, um, they put you through a program of systematic desensitization. About six months is what it will take. Using the power of hypnosis and some of the modern psychological techniques, it can be done in a few minutes. To put Paul McKenna's claim to the test, we called through dozens of reports about people with serious life-altering phobias. We chose Gina Wojciechowski, 35-year-old mother of three, whose profound fear of heights has had a dramatic impact on both her and her family. At first glance, Gina, her husband Andy, and their children seem like a typical family. But Gina's phobia touches almost every aspect of their lives. For the past eight years, her fear of heights has prevented her from flying. And even at home, something as simple as climbing a ladder is virtually impossible. Come on. No, I can't. Go. No, I can't. Just Look how it's wiggling now. It's all right. I don't like it. You're always thinking of the worst. What if we have an earthquake? What if the building fell? You know, what if, what if? You always have the bad things in your mind, but never the positive things about it. I even feel like my youngest my eight-year-old, I feel like I'm instilling the fear into him. And I don't want that to be a problem for him. I've even instilled some of the fear into my husband. She'll start saying things like, watch the edge, you're getting too close. It's going to happen. You're going to... Something's going to happen. So I just, I start freaking out myself. To help us better understand the fear she faces every day, Gina agreed to spend an afternoon with us doing things that many of us take for granted. But Gina finds terrifying. On a drive through the foothills, she couldn't look out the window. At a shopping mall, she wouldn't go near the railing. Does it bother you? You're stepping back. Does it bother you to go with Yeah. How close can you get? Um, that's about it. And going up just three floors in a glass elevator made her nervous. How are you feeling right now? Very sick. <laughs> but on that um, scale. Ooh. See, what is that noise on? Um, I just don't like that. I don't put myself in those situations. Like, I would never do this unless I absolutely had to. But, you know, I wanted people to understand the way that I feel. Do you ever get to the point where you just can't take it? That's the point that I'm at right now. That's why I agreed to do it. I, I'd love to be hypnotized into getting rid of my fear forever. It was time to begin the first phase of our test, the hypnosis session. Gina and Paul McKenna signed affidavits stating that he had never hypnotized her before. This would also be the first time I had witnessed the process. Very shortly, you will have overcome your fear of flying, your fear of heights forever. We will not show you nor let you hear the entire hypnotic induction to ensure that you at home cannot be hypnotized. So, what I'd like you to do is shake hands with me. And as you do, look into the palm of your hand. Watch the changing focus of your eyes, only as fast as... When a person's hypnotized, they look like they're just 
sitting there with her eyes closed, very relaxed. In a sense, the body is asleep, but the mind is still awake. The mind is able to hear what I'm saying and follow my suggestions. Your mind is relaxed, and your mind has become very sensitive to my hypnotic suggestions. Once Gina became hypnotized, Paul began to work on the fears locked in her unconscious mind. And just remember a time you felt really, really confident. See through your eyes. Feel if I suggest, think about a time when you felt confident, and then I make certain suggestions to enhance that feeling, the intensity of the feelings get turned up as well. To make the pictures bigger, brighter, bolder. Double it again, double it again, and double it again. That's it, all the way around. And then just relax. I'm going to ask her to imagine certain things, but I'm going to disassociate her from the bad feelings, the bad memory. As the aeroplane taxis down the runway, you feel good. And as it picks up a graceful, exciting speed, you remain delightfully surprised at how confident and secure you feel. In the final moments of the session, McKenna asked Gina's unconscious to reduce the intensity of her fear in gradual increments. I'm going to talk to you through a system called finger signals. This one means yes, this one means no. So if your fear level would have ordinarily have been around the 100 mark, I would like you to indicate at what level we can take it down to with the yes signal. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 50. OK, I'd like to take it much further down for the purposes of what we want to achieve today. Would that be acceptable? Amazingly, the level kept like dropping and dropping Six, and dropping. Five, four, three, two, leaving it at two. So there's just a polite, gentle reminder from your unconscious. But it's protecting you and looking after you. What happens if she starts panicking? I will have installed a psychological switch. It'll be something like a squeeze of her fingers or I'll touch her hand. And that will instantaneously produce a change in her state of mind. Four, nearly back now, feeling really good. Three, two, surprised at your own ability. One, wide awake. How do you feel? Great. Yeah? How long did that feel like that you had your eyes closed for? Uh, a long time. A long time. Well, it was, in fact, how long was it? 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Okay, so shall we go and try it out? Yeah. Let's go. When we come back, Gina will attempt to fly on an airplane for the first time in eight years. Put to the test will continue in a moment here on ABC. back now the results of our test with hypnotist Paul McKenna his claim he can rid Gina Wojciechowski of her fear of heights in under 20 minutes remember Gina has not been able to fly in an airplane for more than eight years and avoids situations like being in an elevator or climbing even a small ladder now for the dramatic conclusion after just 18 minutes, Paul McKenna claims that Gina is now completely free of her paralyzing fear of heights. Well, now it's time to put Paul's hypnotic powers to the extreme test. Here at a small airport in Chino, California, a C-123 transport plane is standing by to take Gina on a flight that could change her life forever. Built to deploy troops in Vietnam, C-123s are designed to be practical, not comfortable. So why would McKenna choose this particular plane for Gina's test flight? I want to show people not only that it's possible to change very quickly, but it's possible to change very dramatically very quickly. On board, we were met by one of the pilots for a pre-flight briefing. As a precaution, we would also fly with a paramedic because we had no idea how any of us would react once we were in the air. And we were fitted with safety harnesses we would wear for the duration of the trip. When I first saw the plane, uh, it looked old. It looked ancient. It was intimidating. It was overwhelmingly big. It looked like it was going to fall apart. I'd never seen a plane like that before. 
after 30 minutes of preparation, it was time. The plane began to taxi down the runway. All eyes were on Gina, now no longer hypnotized.